Hi, I'm Mike, and this is Fuzz, my fearless friend. Oh, you don't like this at all. <laughs> okay, we're fine. Fabulous secrets were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, I am the new printer. <laughs> Everybody, I'm back. Uh, it's been quite a while and we have a lot to catch up on, uh, but I will save that for another video. Right now, I just want to tell you about this new video series I'm starting called Space Cat and the Search for a Comic Book Printer. I had this idea because, as most of you know, and maybe some of you don't, um, we just ran a Kickstarter for The Hundreds, uh, which is the group that was started by Kevin Cross, the 100 Days of Making Comics group. Uh, we all got together and made an anthology book together, and let me tell you, that has really just rocked my last year. Uh, it was a lot of fun, but it was also a lot of work, and there was a lot more to it than I, than I really expected, and we definitely had some ups and downs, I'll be honest. Um, a lot of it actually had to do with the printer themselves, um, which uh, henceforth I'll refer to as the printer that shall not be named. Um, because the whole point of this series isn't to kind of uh, uh, pit printers against each other or to uh, critique or to criticize or, or anything like that. This is purely a, like an educational series. I'm just trying to get an overview of different options of printers because I have heard maybe two different names of two different printers over and over and over and over again as if they've cornered the market and and honestly two is being generous i really only hear the one and that is the one that shall not be named in fact it's named so often you probably already know which one i'm talking about and that's not necessarily a bad thing if you like that printer great but what i was concerned about is that's somewhat of a monopoly if that's the case then that that can't be there has to be more printers and so i thought you know i can't find any resources out there to help me look into this so maybe there aren't any or if there were maybe they're on a long lost blog or forum you know some time ago and it's just buried in the in the algorithms of the internet now i don't know the answer to any of that all i know is that i couldn't really find answers to the questions that i had when i was starting to research printers and so i defaulted to the one that everyone talks about having that experience i felt there has to be a better way honestly there has to be more options and so i've taken it upon myself to do the research to even find out just how many printers are there which I was floored at how many other options there are. I'm, my, my jaw is agape at the fact that one printer gets mentioned time and time again. There are so many more options, and my hope is that this video series will introduce some of those options to all indie creators that are creating comic books from, from all different levels, whether you're, you know, entry level and you just want to print a few books for yourself to share with your friends and family, or whether you're kind of mid-range where maybe you do have an audience and you want to run a, a, a small Kickstarter and then have a few extra to sell at conventions, or maybe you're all the way at the other far end where you're, you're small press and you're printing a thousand or more copies and, and renting warehouse space. I want to look at it all. I'm really just kind of approaching this from the perspective of an average person going and experiencing what it's like to investigate this company for the first time. So every printer that I review, we're gonna take a look at the samples, we're gonna take a look at their website to see about all the, the functionality of the website and how easy it is to get information. And if it's not available on the website, how is the interaction with their customer service reps to get that information? On the more practical side of things, I'm also going to be looking at, of course, cost. How much does it cost to print books through this printer. Now, I can't get a quote that's gonna cover everybody, but I'm gonna do my best to cover a range, a nice 
well-rounded range. So to do that, I'm gonna look at the bare minimum that I can order from each printer. So whether that's one copy or 25 or 250, it, it varies from printer to printer, but I'm gonna look at the bare minimum. And we're gonna see not only how many copies are the minimum, but we're gonna look at the cost of that total order and the cost of each individual comic at that price point. From there, I'm gonna go up in very specific increments as, as much as I'm able to. Some of the companies vary a little bit more, but from the minimum, I'm gonna jump up to 500 copies, and from 500 copies, I'm gonna jump up to 1,000 copies. And then hopefully you can kind of interpret that it would be more or less you know, between those ranges. But I felt like that would give you a good spectrum of cost per each company because some of them, the savings really starts once you start to get higher up, and others, the setup cost is, is the bigger deal, and then after a certain point, it's actually less expensive. So we're gonna look at all of that and, and really try to dig in as thorough as possible, but like I said, also as casually as possible so that it's not in like an overwhelming kind of book report sort of uh, situation. So uh, last but not least, as of the making of this video, I've actually already reached out to several printers. I've even recorded several segments for the various printers as well. And I've even had some of them contact me. So we're even gonna have some special episodes where I get to talk one-on-one -on -one with representatives of these companies about their company. So. That's going to be awesome. So in addition to getting kind of an overview from a bystander perspective, we're also going to have some episodes where we get to talk directly to the people in charge of making these companies run and maybe learn a little bit about their philosophies and insights and maybe even get some more information on how they might be able to help you with your project. So. I'm very excited about this. This has sort of turned into a, a casual thing that I want to do once in a while to all of a sudden it seems like a really great idea and I think it's going to help a lot of people. So um, I don't have a schedule for it. I'm, I'm trying to, to make two comics at the same time right now. I'm really trying to put out one comic that I'm going to be submitting to a publisher. Um, it's also for portfolio purposes as well. And I'm also trying to put out the first issue of Space Cat this year, which is kind of why I'm researching the printers a little bit more intensely right now. My point being, I don't have much time. In order to accomplish those things, I'm going to need a lot of of time to work on them. So these videos are kind of my break from that. The way it's been working lately is I'll get a package in the mail or I'll get a reply to an email or a quote and I'll kind of take it from there. Uh, the next chance I get, whether it's like at lunch or dinner or end of the day or start of the day, however it goes, um, that's when I'll record. And then again, once I have another chance to kind of take a break from uh, working on my comics, I will then edit the videos. And so I finally have the intro done. So that's somewhat polished. It's not, I mean, it's it's pretty rough. Let's be honest, it's pretty rough, but it was fun. And it's at least something to kind of uh, package this whole thing together into you know more of a definitive experience instead of just random vlogs. I, I do want this to be a series um, and I want it to be recognizable when you're watching an episode. There we have it. This has been a, a fairly long intro, but I hope it gives you a good overview of exactly what I'm trying to accomplish with this series. Um, we are going to have our first episode coming up very, very, very soon. I have all of the footage. Um, it's just a matter of cutting it together, which shouldn't take too long. And I've also got the next four printers already lined up. I've got most of the footage for all of that. I just got a new one in the mail today that's so awesome. I can't wait to do that video. They really surprised me with their sample pack. Let me just say they went above and beyond as far as the, the gimmicks go. It was very entertaining, uh, well worth the experience, and, and just that experience alone kind of makes you want to, uh, to look into them a little bit further. So uh, as much as it might sound like this is kind of a boring kind of thing, it's actually been really fun to look into some of these printers too. So I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are too. And uh, with that said, I'm going to stop yapping because I got some work to do and I will see you very soon on the first episode of Space Cat and the search for comic book printers. All right, peace.